Hey there my friends, Guy Friedman here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about why manifestation is total bullshit. Now for a lot of you guys that might be a little bit alarming because much of the industry is constantly trying to convince you that you need to learn about manifestation, that some people are really good at manifestation, other people are really bad at manifestation, but the reality is, is that if you are a human on this planet then you are a manifestation wizard. So why is that? Well, you may have noticed that life reflects our emotions. It reflects the way that we feel internally. If you wake up in the morning and you're kind of having a bad day, you know, it tends to spiral. You tend to start getting circumstances in your life that reflect that. People are cutting you off on your way to work or you miss the boss or, you know, your boss is kind of riding you too hard or your spouse is annoying you or your health is out of whack and you start getting sick. And if you feel really good in the morning, then things are kind of like effortless and easy. There's a lot of synchronicity in your day. It's because we have a frequency in our body. You know, all, all of us, everything in the universe is just a frequency. And our perception and the patterns that we carry within our body based on this perception are just frequencies, okay? And it's this frequency that's like a magnet that attracts and mirrors the experiences that we're all seeing through our perceived reality. So if we want to change how it is that we perceive reality, if we want to manifest a different life, as so many people are trying to convince you that you can't do, then the only thing that we really need to focus on is the frequencies within our body that get to transform in order to reveal and mirror a new reality into our lives. So do you need to learn how to manifest or do you need to just get that everyone is manifesting and the only difference is what are you manifesting? Some people are manifesting some really negative, awful experiences in their life and this just keeps reflecting a reality that they believe their whole life. So if you've been a type of person who's been a victim most of your life, guess what? Then reality has to come in and reflect that to make you feel like a victim. That's what the frequency that you carry within. So circumstances, people, they're just reading your script, right? And you're gonna get more of what it is that you already are. If you're somebody who finds that money flows to them really, really easily, chances are you have a very positive experience around money. It never seemed like a hard thing to receive. And there's a frequency associated with that and then life continues to unwind and unfold and reveal itself to be easy around the achievement of money or any other area of life that you want to put this on. So what are we manifesting, right? We're either manifesting into fear or we're manifesting into faith. And those are kind of our choices all the time. So are you feeding your fear or are you feeding your faith? Now, if you're feeding your fear, chances are that most of the choices that you make in your life the actions that you're trying to take in order to achieve something are coming from the feeling of scarcity and fear and not being enough of something and a lack of self-worth, right? And every time if you feel this and that's what's happening in your body and you make a choice and an action from there, then you're going to get more of that energy because life reflects your energy. And if you're somebody who makes your choices out of alignment and out of your knowing and out of your truth and you're divinely guided, then guess what? Life is going to reflect that also. Neither one is wrong. It's just up to you to choose which one of these do you want. So I think for most of us, we would probably choose faith over fear, except most of us are thinking that we're in faith and still operating out of fear. And it's because we actually haven't learned how to feel through the events in our life without meddling in those events and trying to control and manipulate them in some way. So oftentimes we're not here in the now. We often can't make our choices out of our alignment and out of our faith and out of our trust in the divine forces and things of that nature. We just start becoming very worried. We start operating from ordinary mind and we start asking it, what do I do right now to fix this? And it really does make those choices out of scarcity and fear. And because of that, we end up with more of that than we really wanted. So is it a matter of you needing to learn how to manifest or is it a matter of you learning how to actually reorganize and transform the frequencies in your body in order to manifest the things that you actually want in your life? And I would offer you that it's the latter. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and like it. If you want more videos like these, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And I'm looking forward to making you more of these videos. I'll see you on the next one. Again, this is Guy Ferdman of Satori Prime. I'm a mentor and coach here, and I'll see you on the next video.